Hello YouTube, this is Magma Rhino, and this is a random video. Um, I just kind of thought it would be cool to make a video like this because um, making snow is fun, and this is a snowmaker. Uh, believe it or not, it makes snow. Um, and uh, so this is good if you live where it's cold, but it doesn't snow very often. Like, I live in New York, it's cold right now, but it hasn't snowed since that freakish storm in October. Um, so, you know, I want to make my own snow. Why not? Um, so how you make this, uh, it costs about 10 bucks, you can get everything you need at your local Home Depot, Lowe's, any, uh, home improvement store. Um, and then all you need is a water supply, it could be from, a, a sink that has these kind of ridges on it, so you can screw something on like this, or a hose, and you need an air compressor. Uh, the air compressor only has to produce about 50 PSI at only like a few cubic feet per minute so it doesn't have to be very industrial sized uh, this won't make much snow it'll make about an inch an hour over a 10 by 10 foot um, but it's better than nothing and it only costs 10 bucks so why not um, so basically what you need first is uh, a half inch piece 10 feet long of scheduled 40 PVC you could get away with using a 2 foot piece but uh, really it costs 2 bucks for the whole 10 foot piece so there's no reason not to get it as long as you can get it home somehow. Um, then you need an end cap. You actually need two of them. Uh, one goes here. This looks a little funky, don't worry. Uh, I salvaged this from some other projects I had. Uh, so one end cap here and one here. You don't need this, so ignore this and pretend this is straight. Um, but in this end cap, you drill, I believe it's a quarter inch hole. And then you get this quarter inch air compressor quick connect fitting and you just kind of screw it in there really tight and make sure it's a flush fit. Um, if it's not, I would recommend getting a few extra caps just in case. Um, you also need a half inch T-joint, a half inch ball valve, one half inch elbow, and then this in there there's a half inch to three quarters inch coupling and then this is the three quarters inch to a male hose adapter. and if you don't have one of these, it's a lot easier to get one. This is a female to female hose adapter. Um, so you can just screw this on here and then screw this end onto the end of a hose, onto a sink or a faucet or anything like that. And it will work fine. Um, so basically how you work this, I'll have a video up soon demonstrating it. Uh, is first of all, you're going to want to close this valve. Also, you can make a stand like this. This was um, just like an old thing I had, and I just zip-tied it on. Um, but you can easily make a stand. You can zip-tie it to a ladder, whatever you want to do. Um, oh, right, and in this end is a 7 fourths inch hole. Um, if you don't have the exact drill, but this is about how big it is. So try to like match it to your screen if you can do that but it's 7 sixty-fourths of an inch. Um, I believe I covered all the specs. So, anyway, uh, you cement it all together just like this. And when you want to use this, you will plug this end into your hose or your faucet or whatever, turn the water on full pressure. Um, you don't need a pressure washer, just regular water. Make sure this is closed, and then you're going to plug in your air compressor, make sure the pressure is turned down to 40, otherwise no uh, snow will actually be made because the air pressure will be forcing the water back down the hose and that's bad. Um, so make sure the pressure is uh, 40 psi and then what you're going to do is you're going to slowly open this until it starts to sputter and you're going to want to tune this until it uh, becomes as steady of a stream as you're going to get. Uh, usually I find that about oops, this far open is like the perfect amount, but I mean, it'll depend on the weather conditions and all that stuff on how far you'll actually have to go with it. Um, and then at that point, it should be making a very fine mist, and it should just be kind of like a cloud. It won't look like snow, but after it settles and after a little bit, it will start to pile up and become snow. Uh, then when you want to shut it off, first thing you're going to do is you're going to close this valve. You're going to let all the water clear out of the system. 
Uh, once all the water stops, you unplug the air hose uh, quick connector. You uh, open this back up. Make sure you point it away from your snow so you don't melt it. Um, and then you, you know, shut off the water, disconnect everything, and make sure you store it inside so that it doesn't freeze up, because that's bad. Um, and if you're quick connector fitting, those things tend to freeze easily. If it freezes on there, just get a, a cup of hot water, pour it over it, or soak it in it, or whatever, until it defrosts. Um, so thank you for watching this. If you would like more specific information or a complete parts list, or anything like that, let me know and I'll give it to you. And I will have a video of it making snow as soon as the weather's cold enough. Let me just check the weather now. Uh, yeah, so it's not supposed to be cold enough until Friday night. So I might do it then, but I don't know. Whatever. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Alright, so thanks for watching. Um, I'm not going to do this stuff very often, so please don't subscribe if that's what you're looking for, because you're going to be disappointed. Um, but whatever, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and if you like snow. Uh, thanks for watching, see ya.